So I wanted to do a, um, I wanted to just do some, uh, just some playing and um, show you guys this new board too while I'm at it. Uh, we just finished Worship Summit 2018 and um, I had gotten this board before, uh, the, the week before Summit. And um, hey Joel, thank you Amy. Hey Joel, what's up Gina? Uh, I had gotten this board like right before Worship Summit started and um, I was unsure you know how it was going to be live in like a live setting uh, because as you can see it's only 49 keys and I was kind of wondering if I was going to be able to um, do a whole praise and worship service with a 49 key keyboard and it actually worked out really really great uh, I was very happy with it and um, the more I play it the more I like about it but I wanted to kind of show a couple of things um, about it to you guys and play a little bit, show you some of the, some of the sounds and stuff, and give an announcement tonight. Um, for those of you that are watching, that's why I asked you to share, because I'm getting ready to do something new, um, as you can see on the screen, um, Worship Wednesday. So each week, um, each week on, uh, on Wednesday, we're going to be doing a, a session on Instagram. Uh, that we'll be calling Worship Wednesday. I'm going to teach on worship some weeks, but it'll be live. Um, some weeks we'll play a little bit, um, just do worship. But um, I wanted to do something every single week that people could join in and uh, bring some people with them that are interested in worship. We're going to be doing giveaways. I'm going to give you some free things. My book's coming out this month, so I wanted to give some free copies of that away this coming Wednesday uh, and stuff. So I'll also give you answer some of the questions you guys have about this board. Hey Corey, these are not weighted keys. These are actually touch sensitive synth style keys. So, uh, but, and that to me is not something I've had an issue with. I've been able to, um, I've been able to play it without any problem. And even did all those, all those different uh, sessions, we did praise and worship. There was no issue at all. But I wanted to just kind of talk uh, quickly about it before I talk more about Worship Wednesday because. One of the cool things about this board, other, I mean, it, you don't have to get it in this blue color. I mean, it comes in it comes in three colors. It's black, white, and this. I just like this blue color. But here's the coolest thing for me. Look at this. I can hold that up with one hand. That's an eight-pound board for anybody that's a keyboard player that has lugged gear around uh, all over the place. You'll know what a blessing an eight-pound board is. So this board is literally eight pounds um, with the uh, case. I bought like a soft case for it. With the soft case, the whole thing is only 10 pounds. Um, and I flew, I actually bought this when I was in Ohio. Amazon shipped it to me in Ohio. And uh, I got it I got it at my uh, hotel, got the soft case, and then uh, brought it back to Florida flew it home but here's the coolest thing to me about it uh, because I've had keyboards broken by like baggage handlers and in traveling and even in hard cases like had things destroyed completely but um, one of the cool things about it even though it's in a soft case I carried this bad boy on the plane and put it in the overhead compartment uh, no issue by the way any musician that's watching this um, that they ever try to make you check your bag on the plane if it's an instrument Congress passed a law that actually went into effect in 2015 which uh, gives you the right as a musician to carry your gear if it's I mean if it's small enough to go in the overhead compartment to carry your gear onto the plane and not be forced to check it and put it underneath the plane so I went in loaded with that uh, I went and loaded with that piece of information, never have to, didn't have to use it, but they just let me do it. Thanks, Daryl. And um, hey, Danielle. So anyway, I wanted to show you some of the cool things and how easy this is. So, so here's the bottom line. This board is made by Yamaha. You can't see that because my Instagram tag uh, is in the way, but um, one of the cool things about this board, okay, so it's the, it came out maybe a year and a half ago, maybe maybe two years ago. Maybe, maybe maybe even a little longer than that, but this is called, this is the Yamaha MX series, um, as you can see on the other side of the board. Uh, I don't know, it must, be, it must be over here somewhere, but um, no, it's over here. 
the Yamaha NX, it comes in the 49 key, 61 key, and an 88 key. And um, the cool thing about the 88 key version is fully weighted. And uh, the 61 key and the 49 key have synth, synth action, like, you know, not even semi weighted, it's like synth action keys. It doesn't, it, well, the cool thing though, it doesn't mess up any kind of dexterity when you're playing. But, um, so anyway, amazing sounds. Thank you, Lori. But here's what's cool. For all you guys that do worship at churches and all that kind of stuff, I just made a really easy patch. It's but literally, you could, if you could see the top, maybe I'll do an in-depth video sometime on the board. But um, if you look at the top, it has an easy, easy two buttons to layer sounds or to split sounds. So if you want to bass down here and keys up here, whatever, um, it, you can easily do that. So I set it up to where I have a pad as well as their concert grand piano that comes from the Motif keyboard. So I have the full out uh, concert grand for the Motif XF8, which is a huge sample, beautiful, beautiful keyboard, beautiful grand piano sound. Um, so anyway, as I'm playing, I can actually, I have this mod wheel right here is is programmed for the high cut of the uh, of the pad. If you're not a musician, listen just listen to what it sounds like. I can make it really warm. thing is if you're like the player at your church and and your uh, your pastor is uh, teaching or whatever I, I have it set up so I can just turn the layer off literally um, I can turn the layer off turn this up and just do this This board right here, the, the 49 key version, is only like 500 bucks, literally brand new. If I wanted to bring my, uh, if I wanted to bring the piano back in, you know, just the layer button comes right back on. Kofi, very much. Hey, Nathan. Yeah, Amy, you could get it really easily. One of the cool things, too, is um, if you remember back in the 1980s, they had all those, um, all of those different worship songs from the 80s were built on this song, right? Uh, this sound right here. You, if you, as soon as you hear this, you'll know this was all the 80s worship piano right here. pretty cool I mean it has it has a lot of stuff if you get really into it like if you were gonna do um, like literally if you had this kind of stuff some of my favorite um, some of my favorite sounds in here if you're doing like synth stuff this is some really cool sounds go right into this. So it has 
好看。Like tons and tons of stuff. It's it's really insane. Um, and then you're right back again to the. Hey, what's up, Josiah? You're right back again. Hey, Tim. So anyway, to me, here here's my main thing with like the way churches, you know, choose to buy these buy these things. You know, there's churches that'll go out and spend, you know, $4,000, $3,500, you know, on a Motif XF8 or a Korg Kronos uh, 2 or, or like a Nord stage uh, piano that's like $3,000, $4,000. And the problem with that is that uh, you, get, you bring it into your church and set it up for Sunday service, and these are basically the only two sounds, and maybe an electric piano, which this has phenomenal electric pianos. Some really good stuff. There's one in here that I've been really playing a lot. So there's like, there's just so much, especially if you're just like learning to play all those things to, to uh, that you have at your disposal. It's really amazing. <laughs> See that I'm getting yelled at by my wife right there. Look at that. She's keeping me in line. So it blows me away. So anyway, you know, what, what'll end up happening is that uh, you know, churches churches buy these four thousand dollar boards and then they come in, these are basically the only three or four sounds. They use a grand piano, an electric piano, and a pad, mainly, maybe some strings, or like <laughs> maybe a synth, but but most likely not. And uh, they pay for these massive keyboards that no, you know, they're, okay, so for example, the Yamaha XF8 has like 3,000 and some sounds on it, literally. This is like a little brother to the Motif XF8. This has a thousand of the best Motif sounds built into it. It's not a MIDI controller, although it can be used as that. It is a full out keyboard has a thousand, actually a thousand plus of those sounds. Uh, and the, you know, when the Motif came out, it was like $3,500, $3,999, something like that. This is $499 for this. I think the 61 key is like $700. The 88 key is $999. Um, and it has all the sounds you want, all the effects that you're gonna need. You know, it, it's really, it blows my mind, it's amazing. Uh, Alex Meadows is asking, what software using the broadcast on Facebook. I'm using a software called OBS. So I think it was originally built for gamers that like to live stream their games on like Twitch or whatever. Hey Cody, what's up Kayla? So I mean it's it's amazing you know what you can do with just such a small board and you know if your church wanted a bigger one to have weighted keys and all that, to pay a, a quarter of the price and still have all that quality is amazing. You know, I'm not, obviously Yamaha doesn't pay me any money. <laughs> they should, Yamaha, if you're watching, you should pay me money, but they're not paying me any money to say this. But, you know, I love churches and I wanna see churches, uh, you know, be able to have the best but not have to pay the most. And um, I've been so, so impressed uh, by this board. I mean, like, so impressed. Hi, 
has some of the greatest sounds, man. I used to be such a huge, and you can't see below this board, but I have a Korg Triton Extreme sitting right below this board directly. And um, I'm, I'm selling it because this, this board's literally all I need, especially on the road and, and for traveling and everything. Like, you know, it blows my mind how good the sounds are. 